So yeah, it's gonna be fun doing this little team up with uh, Sean and Corey from number six with cheese. But something about those guys, they got a whole like uh, perfect stranger vibe going on. Two guys in Chicago. I bet you one of them definitely thinks that they're Belky and the other one has to be relegated to be Cousin Larry. And I'm gonna guarantee you that it's Corey. Corey definitely thinks he's Belky. But I'm gonna tell you, when you go over to their channel and smash the like button, give them a subscribe, tell them the endorsement sent you. Also tell them that the endorsement says that he's Belky. Nobody else is Belky. If anybody's Belky, I'm Belky. I may not be in Chicago. I don't got the deep dish pizza. I don't got the Green River on St. Patrick's Day. But I'm Belky. I run this show. Over here on my channel, Belky Patakamoose. You can be Belky on your channel all you want. And you know Sean wants to be Belky, but instead he's bumbling, fumbling Cousin Larry. Number six with cheese. It's like a mafia front for perfect strangers. I'm out there. Yes, hi, can I get a number six with cheese? What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. So today is a special edition where I'm going to try and persuade you into two items. Now it is also a special day on the channel where I am teaming up with none other than number six with cheese. That is correct. Sean and Corey doing their food reviews over in Chicago. Chicago. I don't know. So they reached out to me a while back and we've been going back and forth with the emails trying to figure something out. And I told them of this conversation I had with my friend Harmony L. YouTube's own Harmony L. We had a little debate going on because I saw Nick Manzioni do some type of breakfast Big Mac. And I'm like, hmm, what actually would be a great breakfast Big Mac? So Harmony had her idea. I had my idea. So I reached back out to the guys at number six with cheese. I said, hey, let's do a breakfast Big Mac challenge. And they were on board. So if you don't know who number six with cheese is, but you order that all the time, wherever you go, number six with cheese, number six with cheese, then definitely check out their channel. I'll put their link below. Tell them the endorsement sent you. Love their brand of humor. They're doing things a little bit differently over there. They got drones. They got uh, secret service that stand on the side of each video like this. Just wait for Sean to do something. He is eating the French fry. Eliminate objective. So yes, they were on board with this challenge and that got me all excited because not only am I going to go up against Harmony L and her version of a breakfast Big Mac, we're also going to get Sean and Corey's version over on their channel. Now I wonder if they have a little back and forth sometime. Is it Sean and Corey? Is it Corey and Sean? Who gets top billing? What more can I say? Top billing. All right, so here we go. Without further ado, let me bring you what I've already put together. Each one of the contenders on my channel First, I'm going to give you what I like to call the challenger, Harmony L's version of her breakfast Big Mac. Oh, look who's calling, Harmony L, right on cue. Hey, Harmony L, I'm actually recording my video right now and just as I picked up your version of this breakfast Big Mac, you called. So would you like to say anything to your fans out there and who's gonna win this challenge? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. All right, there it is. You got up close and personal with it. Now let's move on to my version of the breakfast Big Mac. Here we go. All right, there you go. There is mine up close and personal. And since I have it in my hand, we are going to taste test mine first. I hope the two guys over there in Chicago are having as much luck as I am with these because I'm telling you, both of these look amazing. Who knows what they're doing? Maybe they're making a deep dish pizza a la Chicago version of the uh, Breakfast Big Mac. This is what we got going on here. So wish me luck, my version of the Breakfast Big Mac first.
Mm -hmm. That's a hat adjustment. Wow. One more bite. You guys know what a white towel is? Throw it in. All right, so let's break this down. I kept the components of breakfast going on in here with the egg in the middle and using the English muffins on the top instead of the bun that comes with the McDouble. Now to me, you had to have Big Mac sauce and it had to have some type of beef patty. I mean, you eat sausage for breakfast, people have steak and eggs, it's not too far-fetched. I think this has a visual appeal and I think everything works on here because who doesn't love an egg on a burger and you're also putting the English muffins on the top of it. Where I'm from, that's a no-brainer. Check it out. All right, here we go, wish me luck. Harmony's version of the breakfast Big Mac. Here we go. All right, we gotta unlock the jaws. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was not overtaken by the syrup flavor in the McGriddle that I normally remember being uh, whenever I've had the McGriddle in the past. But let me go in for one more bite here and break this down. But uh, my heart is saying no, but my taste buds are saying, yeah, eat some more of this. Here we go. All right, so let's break harmonies down. Now she keeps this all breakfast. She still has the visual because she puts the uh, middle layer there, but this is basically all breakfast. Having the McGriddle, having sausage, egg, and cheese. This is breakfast personified McDonald's style. Now two different styles, I will give you that. Both taste really, really good. Here they are again, kind of a side-by-side, -side, a little flop action, so yeah. Which one are you guys leaning to? The tastes are both on point. They are just two different takes on a Big Mac breakfast sandwich. So I don't know. I wasn't going to really rate this. I don't think I can. I just want you to leave in the comments below. What do you personally think is the winner between Harmony and I? Also, if you disagree with both of these concoctions, let me know in the comments below what you would do to make the perfect breakfast Big Mac. So there you go. Another review in the books. Please like please comment and please subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media that gets the word of the endorsement out to the masses. All right, so in closing, I want to thank you for joining me on this little breakfast club review. I feel like we're a little breakfast club. You watch me eat some breakfast, we're clubbing it. But I don't know, Breakfast Club. Remember that movie, Breakfast Club from the 80s? Have you guys seen that movie? Who do you relate to the most in that movie? I think if I had to narrow it down to two, I believe the Ali Sheedy character, believe it or not. I kind of like being alone at times, doing my own thing. But I definitely played every sport in high school, so I can kind of relate to the Andy thing. So it's kind of a whole big conglomerate for me. I wonder if the boys up in Chicago ever saw The Breakfast Club, since it supposedly took place in Shermer, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. So did Ferris Bueller. Bueller. Bueller, Bueller. All right, Eric, you're talking Breakfast Club. You want to know who's who since we're eating a breakfast sandwich. By the way, check out our channel. Um, I think I'm a perfect mix between Andrew and Brian because I was kind of like the jockey, but I also like love technology and nerdy stuff. So I'm kind of like this blend between those two mm -hmm. if it were up to me to decide. Yeah. Yeah. I would be, let's see, played high school sports, the jock thing, mm -hmm. electrical engineering degrees, a nerd thing. Mm -hmm. I like drugs, so the uh, judge... The burnout thing. What's his name? Ju is his name Judge? That's not Judge Reinhold. What? John Bender. John Bender. I'm those... If, I, if those three humans got together and mixed genetics via sexual relations... Right, via and sex... And a baby and, popped out... Right. I don't know my dad. Those Two of those three people could be my dad. <laughs> Emilio could have... I don't know who my mom used to hook up with. Maybe it was Emilio. Long story short, we're a blend. Who are you? Who are you guys? Who are you? Oh, oh, snap! You guys have seen the movie. You knew the characters. I wonder if you Googled it. Did you Google it? Or did you know? Did you know it in your brain noggins, boys? But, uh, I don't know. Sean, I can relate to that. Corey, what's going on, buddy? You okay? You need to talk? A little one-on-one? -on -one? 
<laughs> All right, so thank you again. Please check out number six with cheese. I'll have their link below. Again, tell them the endorsement sent you, and also tell them that there is only one Belky Batagamus. You know I had to do it. Both sandwiches on top of each other. That is a monstrosity. <laughs> Here we go. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh, you're still here. <laughs>